Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I'm working on finishing off some loose ends to do with the more complex behaviours in the game such as the birds behaviour and the beavers and the hunting and I've actually been working on this for the last day or so uh, I was doing a lot of loose ends to do with the hunting but it was mostly just optimizations in the code and rearranging some stuff but the things that I'm going to be working on today should be a little bit more interesting so I'm going to get started now and hopefully I'll have something good to show you later in the day Starting off today by finishing off some loose ends to do with the birds, so for example the baby birds now don't try to create nests because they can't reach them anyway. The adult birds will only create nests in fully grown trees and different species of birds can now create nests at different rates. And finally baby birds will now only spawn if there's a nest somewhere nearby, uh, although I want to get them actually spawning in the nest and that's the next thing that I'm going to implement today. So I have now got the baby birds spawning in the nest, so you can see in this nest a baby has just hatched and it will sit in the nest for a while and then jump out and float down to the ground. Um, obviously I still need to make the eggs disappear, uh, or one of the eggs disappear when, when a baby hatches, um, but I'll do that later. So for the rest of the morning I've been doing some work on the beavers and I've been getting them to build their dens in the water, or at least at the edge of the water. Uh, which is something that a few people mentioned I should do, including my mum actually, after the last video she skyped me and said it was far too unrealistic for them to be building on the ground. So I've changed that now and uh, it was a little bit complicated to kind of work out where was a good water depth. Um, to do this I took some sample points around the beavers area and I then got the terrain height at each of those points and then I sorted those points into two groups, one for points which are above the perfect den building height and one for points that are below that height and I then took one random point from each of those groups, took the imaginary line between those points, and then did a binary search along that line to find the point on the terrain which is at the perfect den building height, and that is then the point where the beavers build their den. For the last hour today I have once again been working on the models for the beaver den, uh, but this time I'm actually pretty happy with them, I think that this might be the one. Um, I made this main model yesterday and I've been trying it out in the game today and I quite liked it, so I've just created all of the other model stages and you can see them in the game here being built by the beavers. So this afternoon I've been doing some more work on the beavers, trying to finish off all of the loose ends to do with them. Um, but as I've been doing that, I've found even more things that need to be fixed and improved, uh, so I've ended up with an even longer list of loose ends to finish for the beaver. But I've mostly been working on their movement and AI, specifically for swimming. Uh, so the beavers now go swimming quite a bit more, you can see some swimming around happily here. And uh, I did some work with their AI to make sure that they don't stand around and idle when they're swimming, because that looks a bit strange. And I also did some work on their movement so that when they enter the water, their movement changes slightly, they go a bit faster, and just look a little bit different so that you can tell that they're actually swimming. To finish off for the afternoon, I just took a bit of a break from all the programming and I created this new tree model. But now I'm going to have some dinner and then this evening I'll probably just answer some emails and comments. Just finishing off for the day now and I did a bit of editing and comment answering this evening but I'm going to get to bed now, I want to get an early night tonight so that I can get up nice and early tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone, it is Thursday morning, nice and early today, I got up a bit earlier than usual because I want to try out a new schedule that I've been planning. Um, usually I work in one hour slots but I wanted to try today to work in one and a half hour slots. Um, it's still going to be the same amount of work in total but I just wanted to make the schedule a little bit less stop start. So I'm going to give this a go today and see how it goes. So just finished the first working session this morning and it was quite productive, I got quite a lot of these tasks done. Um, none of them are particularly exciting, I think the only interesting one is that if the beavers live in an area where there isn't any water, so there's nowhere to build a den, then it will tell you that in the entity pop-up GUI for the beaver.
Next up today I've been working on making the beaver den decay slowly over time, which means that the beavers have to continuously bring wood to it to keep it maintained, and that means that you have to make sure that there's a steady supply of trees in the beavers area, otherwise the den uh, won't be able to be maintained. So you can see here that the build points are very slowly going down over time, and every time a beaver brings a stick to it, uh, it will get refreshed. But if I remove all of the trees from the area and speed this up, you'll see that once the beavers have run out of wood in the area, uh, this den will start to decay. So you can see the build points going down now, and as it goes down you can see that the actual model is decomposing and the den is starting to get smaller and smaller until eventually it just gets removed from the world. So I'm pretty much done with the beavers for now and uh, for the rest of the morning I was just creating the other model stages for this new tree and I also added that into the game but I need to stop for an early lunch now because this afternoon I've got tennis. Back from tennis now and back to work on the birds, so I've just been trying to get the number of eggs in a nest to decrease when a chick hatches. So you can see in this nest here there are currently three eggs, uh, but when a chick hatches that number will decrease to two. Just finishing up now and I thought I'd finish off the afternoon with a bit of model making so I had a go at making a new tree for Equinox which you can see here. <laughs> This morning I've been working on an issue with the trees and the nests and basically whenever a tree dies or is removed from the world, uh, anything in the tree, like a bird or a nest, also needs to be notified about this uh, so that the nest can be removed from the world and the bird can fly off. So I've got this all set up in the entity system now and you can see for example this tree here, it's got a nest in it and if I remove this tree from the world, the nest now also gets removed. Just been making the models for the younger versions of this new tree and adding them into the world and you can see some of them in the world here. To finish up this morning I just wanted to tidy up the edges of the world a bit and make them a little bit less sharp. Um, I still have plans to make the entire world a giant floating island but I've had a few attempts at that in the last couple of months and there are just lots and lots of issues with it so it might be a while before I actually get that working in the game. So in the meantime I thought I'd just make the edges a little bit less of a sudden cut off and make them look a little bit smoother. This afternoon I'm going to be doing a bit of UI work, I wanted to do some work on this panel here which basically shows you the buffs and debuffs that an entity has and I've just made it possible to mouse over these buffs and that makes a new panel appear on the right and this panel is going to contain extra information about that buff and where it came from. So for example the productivity boost here, when you mouse over that it will tell you that this productivity boost is because there are bees nearby. So as you can see I've made a bit more progress with this, um, it's not finished yet but it's coming along nicely. Uh, it took a long time though, this entity pop-up UI code is not the best, it was actually one of the first UIs that I added into the game and the UI system has changed quite a bit since then and the UI code for this pop-up hasn't really changed with it so the code's now quite messy and complicated and a bit tricky to work with. Um, I would consider redoing it if I was going to be adding more features to it, but because it's basically finished now and it all works fine, um, I'm just not sure if there's really much point spending a load of time on it and redoing it at this stage. So just finishing off the day today with a bit more modelling for Equilinox, I wanted to create a kind of end game tree, a tree that you can unlock near the end of the game, so it needed to look a little bit more special than the other trees, and you can see my attempt at that here. It's definitely not finished yet, I've still got a little bit to do, but I'm pretty happy with it so far.
So it is now Saturday and today I've just been doing some editing for this video and I've also been doing a bit of cooking. I'll show you some footage of that in the background now. But in terms of development, that's pretty much going to be it for this week. Next week, things should hopefully be a bit more interesting again. Uh, I finished off most of the loose ends now, so I should be able to get back to going through all of the species and adding some new features for them. Uh, so that should be good. Um, before I finish this week, I need to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters from last month who were Blue Nova, Danny D, Stefan, Timothy Gibbons, Crazy Rusky, Jeffrey, Benjamin Fuller and Alexander Chavez. So a huge, huge thank you to you guys as always. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.